what is up sorry it's been about a week since I've done any videos I've just been so damn busy with my other job and this is actually day day two of vacation and I want to get some dashing in before I decide to do something later this week uh, I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere funds are a little limited right now I'm trying to put money towards other things so funds are just a little bit limited you know, happens sometimes um, but today I'm going to take you on a dash and then we may go to the pawpaw park today later depending on what's going on and this is a pre-recorded video so you guys might it might see this and it might be a couple days before this was actually put out so I just wanted to bring you guys some content. I've been filming a lot of what I've been doing. I just want to piece it all together, you know. So, what we are going to do first is we need to fuel up and get some gasoline. Again, keep all your receipts for your gas. The way everybody at the end of the year, Uncle Sam can give you a break. All right, pulling in and get some gasoline. kind of a cool it looks this is deceiving I mean it looks nice and warm it's actually got a bit of a chill factor to it today I don't know what's going on all right <clears throat> excuse me got our first delivery pickup chick-fil-a These people generally are pretty fun to deal with. I mean, they're really nice. Always willing to help. Super friendly. I love working with Chick-fil-A. Funny story that one time. I had a customer who ordered Chick-fil-A. And she's like, can you throw in a toy to ask them it was late I'd already been here? She goes, my kid would really like a toy. Can you just tell them to throw in a toy, please? I asked person at Chick-fil-A. They declined me. They said, well, it's not on the order. So then I said, okay. So you know what I did? I went to McDonald's, got a Happy Meal, ate the food, and gave the kid the, the toy. <laughs> All right, let's get this food. As you can see, we are leaving Chick-fil-A. And we got Chris's order. All right, sir, I'm gonna bring in your two chicken sandwiches and your two waffle fries right now for you. <laughs> You'll take note on this also. Um, I do Postmate delivery now as well. So I have one of their bags. And you know how the, the bag was broken? Hold on a second, guys. So the zipper was broken on my DoorDash bag. So what I did is I simply just put the Postmate bag in the DoorDash bag. So, you know, <laughs> it'll be hotter and fresher and it'll be sealed. So you know what's weird about this delivery? This delivery, I just recognize the address, is going to my old job. <laughs> so this it's so funny that these things happen like this, you know? So I'm going to be delivering food to my old employer. Again, this employer was five years ago. Not my current, but my old one. And it's going to be interesting. I'm not going to say exactly who it is or what it is, but it's just kind of funny to me how things work out in life, you know? So, <laughs> oh my God. So it comes out the gentleman that picked up the food. So he was super awesome guy uh, and you know one of those people I, I've known of him uh, he, it's my ex's boyfriend actually her husband now who left me for him what type of drama is this t today so I literally before he was married to her I was the last guy that she was with and I just delivered food to him at my old job does that not get any better than that? But he's a super good dude, and I'm glad they're happy now. 
like I said, it's just funny how things work out. Now this delivery is going to be about a seven to eight mile job to and from, but I took it because it's, it's a peak pay delivery job and it doubles what you normally get for per one dash. And so I'm all over it. So anyways, I'll keep on keeping on here. All right. We got us another one locked and loaded. So that was for a half pound of chicken. Someone ordered a half pound of chicken tenders. Wow. Fries and a drink. So I've got to go deliver this rallies right now. I've got 30 minutes. Can I do it? <laughs> so I stopped at this little burger joint on the way. It's called Gibbs Hamburgers. I know that I've done a review for them before. It's lunchtime. Got to feel that fire, baby. So these are just like little mini burgers, kind of like sliders. Really good. Got the potato salad as well. So, anyways. Back to dashing. As if this day couldn't get any weirder. As you can see, I'm at Frisch's Big Boy right now. I have to deliver to a retirement home a milkshake. No food. No protein. One milkshake. It's hotter than Hades in the car. I have hot bags, but I have to deliver one milkshake. One milkshake. This will be interesting. Okay. So out of respect for the person I delivered for, I'm not gonna show you their house. Look at these houses. Oh my God. Unbelievable. This was a huge order. I don't know why it was assigned to me, but it was definitely worth the payday. Look at some of these houses over here. Good God. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the size of that house. What a beautiful area. I wonder what these people do for a living over there. Look at that. I have never been up in this area before. What a beautiful house. Unbelievable. You know, I wonder what these go for. I would probably say they look maybe 350 to 400,000 I'd say at best and some of them you probably have the deeper home that it's actually longer on the inside than the height but I mean these are just unbelievable anyways I just did that delivery and yeah it was a pretty good tip too so definitely worth it I got a long haul back, so I get back to work. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. It caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash.